Si el ritmo te lleva a mover la cabeza y empezamos como es Mi música no discrimina a nadie así que vamos a romper Toda mi gente se mueve, mira el ritmo como los tiene Hago música que entretiene, el mundo nos... Oh, you're just gonna go lay down in your bed? That's it? It's over for you? You're done? You're all worn out? <laughs> Yo, what is going down, y'all? Welcome back to the most underrated sneaker channel on YouTube. Your words, not mine. Today, man, today is a life-changing day, man. It's monumental in my life because of the fact that I'm quitting my job, man. I'm quitting this, the place that has given me a job for over a decade in some capacity. I've been there in really limited capacity. I've been there in full-time capacity, management, operations, sales. I've done a lot of different things with that company, performances, creatively. They've given me so many great opportunities and today it all comes to an end, man. I'm quitting my job there. I've built so many good relationships with the people in that company. I've met so many friends that still work there, that don't work there anymore, and we're still friends to this day. I can't say thank you enough to the T-Mobile family and everything that they've done for me, but there comes a point in everyone's life where you gotta kinda decide, is this what you want for the rest of your life? Are you happy doing this? Are you content doing this? Or do you want something more? Do you feel like you have other opportunities in other areas? And that's kinda where I'm at. I feel like I'm in a situation where I need to bet on myself, I need to push the chips in the middle of the table on what I'm doing, if I'm ever fully gonna be happy, if I'm gonna do something that fulfills me and what I wanna do. And that includes this vlog, that includes creating content, that includes creating in general, that includes merch, that includes all the things that involve creating, man, and that's what I really enjoy. I enjoy creating things, I enjoy using my creativity, and I feel like I do have an opportunity to do that. As far as my new job or where I'm going from here, we'll get into that in the next few days. I'm gonna start that next week, so there'll be plenty of time to cover that and you'll see what's going on. But it's just time, man, it's just time. It's just one of those situations where these big corporations, man, they're so good because they provide you benefits and they provide you structure and a stabilization that you really can't get freelancing or doing stuff on your own. But at the same time, they don't really pay you enough to do anything big or do really what you want with your life, but they don't pay you too little to leave. So you're kind of just stuck on this hamster wheel. Am I good at it? Yeah, but do I really have a passion for it? No, I mean, you guys saw Josh and I are running my store now and I enjoy it, but I don't see myself going higher than that. I don't see myself being a district manager or climbing up the ladder in that corporate world. I just wanna do more. I feel like staying there any longer, it's just burning me out, man, and it limits what I wanna do as a creator and as a person in society. And for me, man, I'm ready to jump off that wheel and make the transition into uh, doing things on my own. I still will have a job, but it's just gonna be more in the realm of what I wanna do. So with all that being said, man, today is a bittersweet day, last day at the job, start of a new chapter, as you guys have seen steady plugging away on the renovations plugging away on the house my life has been crazy lately like I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job of staying positive and keeping my mind level but the other day man I kind of almost had to stop and look at things for a second these are a lot of life-changing events between the house burning down buying a new house remodeling that house quitting my job starting a new job like these are all little stressful events by themselves and I'm trying to do it all at once which might be a little bit too much sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming I know I've been slacking on the vlog content Content. You guys definitely let me know that, but it's gonna be better, man. It's gonna be awesome. This is gonna give me an opportunity to do so much more with the vlog and give you guys the content you deserve and it's just gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm really, really excited to turn the page and be on that next shit and bring you guys along with me and yeah. He's like, why are you even looking at that stuff? You're gone. Why are you even looking through your email? Why are you even doing anything? You're gone. I don't have any TV. I'm about to have to buy a new one because mine got wrecked. Can I make some suggestions for you? Yeah, make some suggestions on TV. Don't buy a Samsung. Don't buy a Samsung at home. That's yeah. what, what should I buy? Don't buy a Samsung. That's not what the Samsung rep told me the other day when he was here. Dave. Garbage. David told me they're the best. No. David told me they're the best. Well, if you're spending 10 grand, David said those ones are probably the best. Their smart TV application sucks. <laughs> or an Apple TV. You can't find one that's not smart. They're all smart now. Are they? I don't know any TVs that are not smart TVs. Yeah, they might not make them anymore. Why make a non-smart TV when you can charge a $100 markup on any quote-unquote smart TV? These consumers are retarded, so. Yeah, I don't know. 
I think 50, 55 will be perfect to put on the wall. Projector. Yeah, you're trying to do some extra. I don't got the cake for that, but I got any in my budget. <laughs> All right, Jer. All right. See you later, man. All right, man. Yeah, I definitely will. I'll probably come back by staying out. It's like a death in the family. Ugh. Just like that, man. That is the last day, the last time I walk out of this building, man. It's kind of sad, but it's, it's a new chapter, as they say. I know it sounds cliche, but uh, I'm excited for it, man. That is the last time. Adios, amigos. All right, guys, we are back home. Before we get into the sneakers in this video, man, I want to talk a little bit about the controversy surrounding UK rapper Stormzy, John Wexler, Yeezy Mafia, all on Twitter over some fake Yeezys. If you're not familiar with Stormzy or this story or anything that's going on, I'll lay it out for you really quickly. Stormzy is a UK rapper. I'm not super familiar with the guy, but apparently he is on the Adidas Originals team. He's like sponsored by them or whatever. He has a brand endorsement deal with Adidas. And this all started with him performing at the EMAs on Sunday night. The EMAs, like the European Music Awards, like MTV's uh, European Music Awards. So Stormzy's performing there, and during his performance, he comes out rocking some Yeezy Beluga V2s. Now, if you're in the sneaker game or you know about sneakers, you know the Yeezy Beluga V2 is not out yet. It's slated to release on the 25th of November. So of course, what does everyone like to do these days? Everyone likes to call everyone else's shit fake. If somebody got him early, it's fake. Without knowing, without rhyme or reason, it's fake. Now Yeezy Mafia, to their credit, they do some research. Yeezy Busted does research. You know, they research the box label, they research the shape of the shoe, they research every detail. As we know, the V2s are getting very, very hard to legit check these days because the fakes are becoming so good. This is the picture that sparked all the controversy here. The Stormzy performing on stage in the Beluga V2, and this is what they look like. Yeezy Mafia immediately comes out and says, yo, these are fake, we're not trying to hate, but these are definitely fake. Now also, let me add, while Stormzy's performing, John Wexler posts a video of the performance live on his Instagram story. If you don't know who John Wexler is, he's the VP of Adidas Global Entertainment and Influencer Marketing. So the guy holds clout. The guy's very close to the Yeezy line. He's very close to Kanye. Anyway, he posted a video of Stormzy performing on his Instagram story. So let's hold off on Wexler for a second. Now back to Twitter. So after Stormzy performs, Yeezy Mafia comes through and says, hey bro, those are fake, blah, 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 blah. Now how they make it come off is, hey, we're not hating. We're not trying to hate on anybody. We're just saying that these are fake. We're just trying to educate educate the public and let everybody know what's fake and what's not fake. So that's how Yeezy Mafia went about it. So of course everyone starts piling on Stormzy and he's rocking fake Yeezys and this, that, and the other just because the Yeezy Mafia said so. But mind you, we don't have a pair of Beluga B2s to compare. I don't know if they have a pair. I don't know. I don't know who really has legit pairs. I don't, I don't know. I'm sure some people do, but I'm sure they're pretty few and far between. You know what I mean? Like how are you going to verify what's legit and what's not legit? So Yeezy Mafia comes back out and tells everyone, Hey, don't blame Stormzy. He probably didn't know the fee two fakes are getting good. He probably didn't know he got fakes. We're just trying to share our knowledge. We're not trying to hate all this stuff. So of course Stormzy gets pissed off at Yeezy Mafia because he's getting all this backlash from everybody else and this whole shit storm that Yeezy Mafia started and created while they're saying they're just trying to educate the public and they're not trying to hate on the guy. But meanwhile, the guy's getting buried by everybody on Twitter and all the sneakerheads and everyone thinks they're in the game. So now it's just this whole mess. Stormzy claps back at Yeezy Mafia and basically he tells them like, they don't know what they're talking about. They're not Yeezy experts and they're gonna have to come back and apologize when they realize they made an error. So Yeezy Mafia claps back and says, yo, they definitely look fake. We're saying they're fake. All the other Yeezy experts that are looking at the shoes are telling you they're fake. Don't be offended. We're just trying to let people know that those are fake. Well, they kind of go back and forth and Yeezy Mafia is like, well, show us a picture of the box. If they're not fake, show us the box label. So Stormzy comes back with some box label pictures and Yeezy Mafia starts asking all their people like, yo, send us pictures of your European box label V2s because Stormzy's box label was a European box label. And there are some differences between the US box label and the European box label, mainly the sizing, but also the placements of the words Yeezy Boost, V2, different things like that. Those are what a lot of people use to verify fakes. Stormzy shoots over pictures of the box label and now Yeezy Mafia just starts going in on him. All these people start going in on him because they're saying on the European box label, the V2, so where the line is at, actually I have a pair of V2s around here somewhere, hold up. 
Did I just mess up my camera? This camera's lit. This whole setup is literally sitting on a bunch. Oh, damn. Look, I tried to shake the shoe boxes. Now I'm breaking shit. But this whole thing is sitting on shoe boxes and uh, the Yeezys were sitting down below. So I think I just messed this whole thing up. All right, I think we got it. The camera placement's back. But anyway, this is a pair of Yeezy 350 Beluga V2s. This is the version one Beluga. Obviously, I don't have the V2s. But they do have a European box label. So that is what the European box label looks like. This is size 12 and a half. 12 and a half is very, very rare in this shoe. I'm so glad I have this pair so I can show you guys. So what Yeezy Mafia is saying is that this V2 on Stormzy's sits inside this line. You see how this line runs down here? This V2 sits inside the line. saying that constitutes a legit pair and his since the v2 sits in here or over here like where the 350 is they're saying that right there is why his shoes are fake i don't know if that's true i'm not a legit checking expert if it's a pair that i really want i'll research up on that pair just to make sure i kind of know what to look for and on the fakes and the real pairs but outside of that i'm not fake education i don't know all the little differences and details and exactly what to look for on every single shoe because i'm just not in the game like that like i don't got time so what yeezy mafia did is they got a bunch of pictures i guess they said they got like eight over 800 pictures of people submitting their v2 box label the european box label has all these different sizes here the u.s box label does not have all that so this does not apply on the u.s box label just to be clear people were sending in pictures of the US box label where like, oh, mine's sitting outside and these are fake or mine's not sitting outside and I got these off adidas.com. They're not talking about the US box label. I swear, if I see somebody in the comments and be like, whoa, mine are, mine are, my V2 sits outside and I got them from Adidas and it's a US box label, you're not paying attention, dog. So they said they got over 800 pictures and no V2 ever sat outside of that. Now, they're also talking about the pull tab. Now, this is where I didn't really notice a huge difference. Adidas just dropped the official images of the Beluga V2. If you take that image and you put Stormzy's image right underneath it, like I'll do here for you. If you look at the shoe, the only real difference, the pull tab looks like it sits pretty similar. The back looks like it sits pretty similar in height. The only real difference is it looks like Stormzy's doesn't have as much of an angle on the back. You know what I mean? But it's really, really hard to tell from pictures because his foot's also in the shoe. So when your foot's in the shoe, is it not going to slant as much? Is it going to be more vertical? I'm not sure. So I'm not really going too, too much off the shoe because the shoes, honestly, the pattern, everything looks pretty damn similar to me. At this point, it kind of looks like Easy Mafia has a case. It looks like they're kind of correct. But now to throw a monkey wrench in the whole thing, let's bring John Wexler back in. Remember Wexler, VP of Adidas Entertainment and Influencer Marketing. Wexler comes back and fires off this tweet. Huge shout out to Stormzy for always showing Team Adidas so much love. Adidas family since day one, shoes 100% real. That right there just made everything more convoluted and more complicated and more crazy because you have a dude that works for Adidas that's very close to the Adidas line co-signing Stormzy saying the shoes are legit and then you have Yeezy Mafia not backing off their stance saying hey Wex is wrong. Wex is full of shit. I don't know if they're going as far to call him a liar, but they're saying, I don't care what Wexler says. It doesn't matter. The shoes are still fake. Now, this is coming from an underground group of whoever the hell runs Easy Mafia. I don't know who these people are. And they are really good with leaks and they're always usually pretty on point with dates, but they definitely have been wrong with legit checking certain stuff in the past. This just makes it really, really hard to pick a side because we don't really have pairs of Beluga V2 2.0s floating around to compare it to. Who's to say that Adidas didn't change the box label on the new pairs? Who's to say that Adidas didn't change the pull tab or the structure, whatever they're looking at on the new pairs? We've seen them make changes to the V2 before from the boost looking a lot shiny to less shiny to more perforated to not as perforated. It was like, oh, this is an easy way to tell with the fakes by the boost. And now all of a sudden the newer ones that are actually legit pairs, this boost looks like the fake boost on the first pairs. You know what I mean? So it's so hard to tell. And for me, Personally, it's really, really hard to go against Wex because he works for Adidas. It's like, dude, that's the guy that works for the company that's close to Ye, that's close to the Yeezy line. How do you really go against that? But then on the other hand, to play devil's advocate, it's like, is he trying to cover up for Stormzy because this is a bad look for Adidas if Stormzy is rocking fakes, if he didn't really get shoes seated to him early by Adidas? And he may have, but if he didn't, 
and he's rocking fakes at the show. Wexler is kind of coming through to do some damage control and say, hey, the shoes are legit. They're 100% good. So it's really, really hard to decide, man. Because at first I was really against Yeezy Mafia. I kind of thought they were just trying to be bullies and they kind of didn't have any legit facts or any legit points to stand on. But with them not backing down and the box label stuff, I get their case. I see their side. Do I think they're correct? Not necessarily, but I see their point. Wexler, on the other hand, he works for Adidas. Like I said, he's the Adidas guy. Is he just straight lying to us to cover up for Stormzy rocking fakes? I doubt it. I don't see why he would just not you know, would keep his name out of the whole thing. By putting his name in there, now it looks exponentially worse if he comes out that Stormzy is rocking fakes. He should have just zipped it up. If he knew that they didn't seed him a pair of Yeezy V2s early, then I would have just stayed out of it. But now that he did jump in, he threw his hat in the ring, and now he's involved, it kind of makes it worse if he is lying. Oh, I also want to add, Stormzy has deleted pretty much every single tweet that had anything to do with the V2s, the Yeezy Mafia. He might've been told to do that by PR, I don't know. Might've been a personal decision, might not wanna be involved with it, might wanna draw attention to Yeezy Mafia, or he might just be full of shit. Not like it matters now, because everyone has screenshots of the box label and all the stuff that he put up. So, I mean, deleting tweets, it doesn't matter, especially if you have the following he does. Everyone's got screenshots of everything that was said and the whole convo and everything anyway, so. But he has deleted those tweets. So take that as you will. So I don't know. I just thought it was an interesting story, man. I can't really call it. I don't know which side I'm on. The only way we're really going to know is when we get those new V2s, when we get that box label. If this V2 on the Euro labels is sitting inside this line, just like Stormzy's pair, Yeezy Mafia is definitely wrong and they have some apologies to make. If the V2 is sitting outside on the Euro pairs and they're all consistent and they're all the same, then we know Stormzy's bullshitting. He got fake Yeezys and only time will tell, man. It'll be interesting to see. But let me know what you guys think, man. Are you taking Yeezy Mafia's side? and going with all the fans and all the people that are submitting pictures of their V2 boxes and they're going off the old V2s and this is how they've always looked? Or are you on Wexler's side with Adidas and Stormzy saying that the pair are 100% legit? Leave your comments below, man. It's an interesting story and something we will definitely keep an eye on as the Beluga V2 2.0s drop. I know this vlog was a little bit different than the usual, but I like conversation, man. Just like when I did the Michael Bennett video, I just like discussion in general. I just like looking at both sides and going back and forth and hearing different sides and hearing opinions. So that's why I'm interested in your comments. What do you guys think? Think. If you're not a big fan of vlogs like this or conversation pieces and you're just here for the sneaker reviews, that's cool too, but just hold tight. Don't stomp your feet. Don't poop your diaper. We're going to be back tomorrow with the Soul Box Packers Ultra Boost Mid. I'll be reviewing those for you. We'll do the on feet. We'll do back to the normal stuff. So as always, thank you for tuning in. I love the shit out of y'all and I will see you fools tomorrow. <laughs>